Hi, uh, welcome to the next HTML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn some of the uh, basic HTML tags. And uh, just like in the previous tutorial, we are going to use um, Notepad. And this time, we are trying to create a very, you know, a very small, very simple website. A website. Uh, normally consists of several web pages and I need to create a folder because I'm going to create some Vietnamese poems so I put in Vietnamese poems there and all the files, all the pictures, all the resources that I'm going to use will be in inside this folder now I start notepad so I click on run yeah start run um, a shortcut will be window okay and the R key so I put it in and type in HTML open and close the tag like this inside the HTML we need to have the head open and close it and now the um, body open close it alright so these are the uh, most important uh, tags that we need to put in first now let me type in um, a very short poem that I really love by a Vietnamese poet uh, I'm sure many people know him uh, Trần Tế Sương so okay, this is how it goes uh, that's the, the poem Song Lập Song kia rầy đã nên đồng Wow, I need a period here Chỗ làm nhà cửa Chỗ trồng ngô khoai Vẳng nghe tiếng ếch bên tai à, Giật mình còn tưởng tiếng ai gọi đỏ Wow, I always love using Vietnamese poem in my tutorials uh, Mm, English poems are not my cup of tea so right now uh, let's save this so I click on file save and now I need to type in the name um, this time I can type it in like this but one warning okay don't leave spaces inside the file name uh, especially when you design uh, web pages why? Because when you upload your web pages to the internet, all these uh, you know spaces will become okay. Okay, they, they will become uh, you know what you see like this. Okay, and that will make your link look very you know uh, ugly and hard to remember for the user. Uh, I bet that if you have already used the internet, you, you uh, will have already seen some web links that contain a lots of percent twenty, okay, like this. So in order to avoid that to show up on your web page, when you say, "Don't use spaces in your file name," so I uh, put it in like this. So lap dot HTML. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, we learned that we need to save as Thai own file. Now, if you do not want to save a Thai and to own file here, there's another trick <laughs> of saving the web page. You can put things in a quotation like this and save a Thai as txt. When you put it in quotations, um, it will automatically save okay, with the extension that you define. So, Okay, this is just another uh, trick, uh, uh, you know, of working with um, Notepad. I want you to know. So I click on Save now, and in the Vietnamese poem now, you see another web page. Um, some lap. I click on it. Wow, yeah, it's still up, but something's wrong. What's wrong is here? First, uh, there is no title for the f uh, for the poem, but that's easy because we have learned how to put a title here in the previous tutorial. But uh, what's wrong here? Um, 
in the uh, source file you see okay we have line breaks but in the web page okay they are all gone and this is absolutely um, normal in order to have line break in web pages you need to put in more HTML tag to format it alright so let's come here and put in a little bit more tags now in order to have the titles I will type in uh, title and I close it title inside the title tag I will put in the name of my song lab I say and now refresh the browser okay so the file names has already uh, shown up here now in order to have line breaks um, between the lines we need to insert the break tag break uh, break is a special tag it helps you to create line break and you do not need to close it really uh. okay for the last line we do not need to break so I have inserted three breaks here I say and now I refresh the browser wow okay all of them go there good um, I think I need to put in the uh, name of the author here however um, if you simply put a break here um, okay. it will be just one line I want it to have another line so I add one more break say and refresh yeah it's gone down now okay let's make some basic uh, you know formatting and changes I want to uh, make the first line okay bow so we can do that by inserting okay, a bow tag so I put in B and close it B say and here if I look again yeah you see them is bolden uh, for the next line I want to make it italic sign and I guess you guess what it will come with so we have uh, the it italic text okay I open it and close it this way now uh, for the next line I want it to be underlined so I put in another tag with you and I select you on the line okay fine save let's see how it's go okay great you see here the first line is bold the second line is in italic and the third line is underline uh, okay this should be capitalized for the second line now um, I want to make uh, you know the uh, author the last line to be both you know both and italicized so I can combine all the text together by doing this both italicized and even okay if you wanted to be in a line you can do it like this and then close all of them so let's close analyze first and close italic sign and then close uh, bow and then I click on save refresh the browser okay great so that's it for the second tutorial we have learned some more basic HTML tag for formatting your uh, web uh, page. Well, that's it. See you in the next tutorial.